Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought that today we would just do a little vlog. Uh, yesterday I got home from Boston. I was up in Boston for a week for work and I'm home now. It's Saturday and I have a lot of things I kind of need to get done around the house and like errands and just, you know, odds and ends. So I thought we would do a little vlog of like resetting for the week now that I'm home. I have a lot to do so I just thought I would bring you guys along with me. farmer's market I just got a couple things I got a cookie for Dan because there's one particular cookie vendor who makes this specific cookie at the farmer's market that he is obsessed with so I got him a cookie here it is it's the salted caramel snickerdoodle and then I got myself a Nutella chocolate chip and then I also got two little bouquets and they're so cute I buy these from the Amish folks. I think they're Amish. They come in from Lancaster every Saturday and they sell the most gorgeous flowers. So I like just getting these little tiny ones. Love is obsessed with flowers. Every time I bring flowers home, she has to know what's going on. But I'm gonna put these in a vase and put them somewhere that the cats cannot get them. So let's do that. got the flowers done I did end up putting them in a different jar so they had a little more space and then I put the other ones over here by my desk and they look so cute but as you can see it is a huge mess in here um I just got home last night from Boston kind of late so I have a lot to put away I did unpack my suitcase um so my suitcase is empty and I just need to put it in the closet but yeah, it's definitely a mess in here, so I'm just going to kind of tidy up and reset for the week. you guys a couple of things I bought in Boston I didn't buy a lot of stuff I bought like literally three things but I still want to show them to you so I got these cute little earrings from this really cute shop in Boston on Charles Street near Boston Common it was like a little consignment store and then I think the jewelry is handmade but how pretty are these I just thought these were so fun and then the other thing I got is this adorable little lemon plushie for my niece Natalie she's due to be born in October and my sister is doing the whole nursery in a lemon theme so I thought this was so cute and irresistible like the little legs the little smile I cannot even take it and then the last thing I got are these cute little boots like I don't know if they're boots are they like ankle boots I guess even though they're like cut out but I think these are the cutest thing I've ever seen I love when you find something in a thrift store that is your size and they're so cute and they fit you perfectly and they're a good price. So I love these. I snapped them up immediately. I got them at Buffalo Exchange in Somerville, Massachusetts. This is the other thing that I got. So I didn't get these in Boston. I got them, I ordered them in the mail and they were here when I came back. But I work with this little girl who is in foster care. She's seven and her birthday is actually today. She's turning eight. Um, so I got her this cute little like 
sticker book with like cute little fun stickers and then she's also really into American Girl so I got her this cute American Girl coloring book um, and her foster mom told me she's really into coloring and she told me she's really into American Girl so I just thought this was fun um, I'm going to see her soon so I'm gonna bring her this as a birthday present the other thing I want to show you guys is this really cute game that I've been playing it's called Nikoatsume. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a Japanese game. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. But basically, this is a cat collecting game that was really popular when I was a freshman in college. Like, everyone was playing this when I was a freshman. And I was just thinking about it the other day, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to play this game again. So I downloaded it again, and it is the freaking cutest game ever. This is one of the, like, special cats that only comes like when you do have a certain item. And basically the point of the game is that you buy different like little toys and food for the cats and they come visit you and you collect all of them. So you have like a little cat book where you have like all your little cats and you can take pictures of them doing different things. And it's so cute, it's so cute. There's a rare cat called peaches that everyone tries to get it's this one it's the only one that I don't have um everyone tries to get her because she's like really hard to come to your yard and then there's other special ones that are like they're like themed cats let's see so like this one is like a little baseball player so he only comes when there's the baseball in the yard so there's like some fancy special ones and I'm still working on getting all those ones but this is a really cute game, um, not sponsored or anything, obviously, but like, if you want a fun little cute relaxing game, I've been playing this game and I am obsessed with it. So I wanted to show you guys my plants. I just brought all of my plants in here to the bathroom to water them. I usually use an app called Planta, which reminds me when to water my plants, but because I was away in Boston for a week, they pretty much all needed to be watered. Some of them are not doing the greatest, like this plant is suffering a little bit. He has some dead leaves. This pothos is doing fine. This one's doing really good. It's getting long. This one's fine. My angel wing begonia, when I bought it, it was already a little bit damaged. Like it had some damaged leaves on the bottom, but it's doing a lot better recently. And then these guys are doing fine too. Um, this plant has a little bit of damage like on the ends of some of its leaves. I don't know what is causing this, but um, my prayer plant has little flowers, which is so cute. And then in the bathtub, I have my like long trailing vines. So I just have my, I can never remember what this plant is called on the left, but this is just another big pothos. So I just hang these in here in the bathtub to water. But yeah, I usually water my plants like every couple days. I just do it when the app reminds me, but um, they're all in here right now and I thought it looked cute. So this is like a little overview of all my plants. I'm thinking about doing a video eventually called Plant Hospital because some of my plants need some help. So I might do like a little plant hospital video where I kind of rehabilitate some of them that need help. Like this guy has some damage on his bottom leaves too. Um, but yeah, these are all my little plants. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I just got out of the shower, as I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> um, I went to bed so early last night, completely unexpectedly. I laid down at like six o'clock intending to take a nap and I woke up at midnight and I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I got up, I was up for maybe like 45 minutes and then I just went back to sleep. So obviously I needed it. I feel like if I ever sleep that much, it's because I need to sleep and rest. So I just got up a couple hours ago. I've been having a super slow morning, um, moving the plants around. I'll show you what I did with the plants. I took a shower. I'm gonna go do my skincare routine and my makeup. Um, and pretty much all I'm doing today is going over to Dan's house to film a couple of videos. And then uh, he's gonna come home from work and we're gonna have dinner and stuff. So pretty chill day. I probably will not continue this vlog for too much longer because nothing really interesting is going on. But yeah, I unexpectedly slept a lot. So I'm trying to get the rest of my life back together today. So I brought a couple plants into my bedroom. I think it looks so pretty. 
I wanted some plants in here, plus Clove has been able to get to the lower leaves of this plant and she's been chomping them a little bit. So I wanted to put it somewhere where it's higher up um, and she can't easily get it. And then this plant was just not doing really well. So I wanted to put it in here next to the window and hopefully it'll perk up a little bit. And then out here, there's just three plants now instead of five because I put the other two in the other room. So these are gonna have more space now to just grow and hang out. This is my, I can never pronounce the name of this plant. It's really hard to pronounce. I think it's Rapidoptera tetrasperma, I think. This is a climbing plant. So I really need to give him like a better system to climb on because that's what it's supposed to do and then my prayer plant just loves this window it's been doing really well um sorry if you can hear the cats they're being crazy this morning i had to put clove in here while i was moving the plants because she is crazy so i put her in jail just while i move the plants around but i'll let her out you have something to say what's up girl what's up my girl you just needed attention that's all. He just needed some attention. Okay guys, so I didn't film for a little bit because I was just like getting dressed and cleaning up a little bit and it was kind of boring, but I am now getting ready to go over to Dan's house to film a little bit for YouTube. So I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I'm really not doing anything super exciting for the rest of the day, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for helping me reset for the week. I'll be home this week working from home and then the week after that I'm going to Frederick, Maryland for another work trip. So I might bring you guys along. I never know how much time I have to vlog on work trips, but thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and click the like button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.